I'm Colin Deaver, and you're watching KTSM 9 News, putting local first. Well, now that we're getting closer to the colder weather, of course, ahead of our first freeze this year, it's time to start thinking about how to properly heat your home. And here to give us some tips is Ames Davis, Executive Director of the Red Cross. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So, okay, what is the most dangerous mistake you see people uh, making during this time? The most dangerous mistake we see people making is that they put their space heaters too close to flammable objects, such as... Um, drapes or bedding, um, not on a, they need to place them on a hard surface. Mm -hmm. So perhaps like tile floors, something that's not flammable. Um, and each space heater needs three feet of space. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that was my next question. Yeah. So, um, you know, you connect them, so we cannot have anything close to that space heater? Right, nothing close, nothing flammable. Keep children okay. away, keep pets away. Mm -hmm. They're flammable as well. Um, and try to get a model that when it tips over, mm -hmm. it'll um, automatically shut off. Okay, perfect. So, okay, how uh, one of one of your tips is to have fireplaces inspected. Yes. How often should we have that, and by who? Oh, yes, annually <laughs> you should have your fireplace inspected. I would say do it now. Don't wait until after the winter, but um, do that now, and then do it by professional. Oh, okay, perfect. Yes. So, okay, this is a big one. You know, what are some of the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning? That is a good question. A uh, great question, actually. So dizziness, nausea, headaches, sleepiness, um, confusion. Um, basically, those are it. So if you start feeling those mm -hmm. symptoms or seeing someone with those symptoms in your home, check for carbon monoxide poisoning. First, get out of the home, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then check for have somebody come in and check for carbon monoxide poisoning. Perfect. And, and tell us a little bit about the Red Cross. So what happens? I mean, accidents happen all the time. But if one was to happen... How do you help us? So for home fires um, and space heaters this time of year with the leading cause of home fires. So what we will do is come out and assess if there's a fire. If there's been a fire, just give us a call and we'll assess the damage. And then um, we give immediate assistance to the families. And we do that through the generosity of our donors and the volunteers that we have. Thank you so uh, yeah, much. Yeah, absolutely. that's beautiful. Thank you so much for being here with us today. We truly do appreciate these awesome tips. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> you know, and switching here, gears here, let's talk a little bit about yesterday. Denver already saw massive amounts of snow. You can see that in this video right here on your screen. A snowstorm snarls traffic and closes schools in Colorado. Six to eight inches of snow.